Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, this is the time to uh, have some examples on the energy stored in uh, an electric field. Uh, although uh, we are talking about capacitors, but we know that the energy stored uh, in a capacitor is in fact stored in the electric field between the plates. Okay, so uh, I hope this is clear uh, for everybody. We have a 20 volt battery is connected to a series of N capacitors. So we have N capacitors connected in uh, series. Each of capacitance four microfarad. If the total energy stored in the capacitors is 50 microjoules, what is the number of capacitors uh, N? So we want to know how much is uh, the number of uh, capacitors uh, connected in series with a 20 volt uh, battery uh, uh, to get for each capacitor, the capacitance of each capacitor is 4 microfarad and the total energy stored is 50 micro, microjoules. So total energy stored equals 1 half C equivalent in this case because we have N uh, capacitors connected in series uh, multiplied by V uh, squared because this uh, uh, potential is uh, applied across the equivalent capacitors, capacitance of N uh, capacitors. But what is C equivalent for uh, series? So for series connection, we know that 1 over C equivalent equals 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2, and all of them are identical. So 1 over C plus 1 over C plus etc. And uh, we know that the number of them is N, uh, so we'll end up with N over, N over C. So C equivalent will be uh, C over capital, over capital N. Okay? And we know uh, V, uh, we know uh, U, which is the potential uh, energy stored in the electric field between uh, the two uh, plates of the uh, capacitors. Uh, we will get uh, the following. Uh, U, which is 50, 50 micro, so 10 to the minus 6 joules, equals 1 half. C equivalent, which is C over N, Okay, multiplied by uh, V squared, which is 20, 20 squared. Okay, and we know what is C. C in this case is 4 microfarad, so we can write here 4 multiplied by 10 to the minus uh, 6. Okay, and we can see that uh, 10 to the minus 6 will cancel with the 10 to the minus 6. And uh, here we can rewrite things. So N will be, uh, this will be 2, multiplied by uh, 400, okay, divided by 50, so this 0 will cancel with that 0, and we are left with 80 divided by uh, 5, which is 16 capacitors. So the number of capacitors in this uh, configuration is 16, uh, 16 capacitors. Thank you. Uh, this is the second example. We have a 20, uh, excuse me, a 2 nanofarad parallel plate capacitor is charged using a 12 volt battery. The battery is removed, okay, and a dielectric of dielectric constant kappa 3.5 is inserted uh, in the space between the two parallel plates, filling completely the space between the plates of the capacitor. What is the energy stored in the capacitor after inserting the dielectric? Okay, so uh, if the battery is removed, so battery, battery is removed, this implies that charge is constant. Okay, but V will be changing. V, which is the potential across the capacitor is uh, changing. So Q will not change upon uh, inserting uh, the dielectric material between the two plates. Okay, uh, we want to know how much is the energy stored in the capacitor after inserting the dielectric. So U equals, I have to use Q square over 2C. 
But C in this case, C in this case equals kappa of the dielectric multiplied by C multiplied by C air. Okay? And C air is given here to be 2 nano, 2 nanofarad. So this will be 3, which is uh, 3.5 multiplied by, this is kappa of the dielectric, multiplied by uh, C air, which is 2 times 10 to the minus 9. And we'll end up with C equals 7 times 10 to the minus 9 farad. This is uh, the capacitance of the capacitor when we fill it with the dielectric material, okay? And the charge uh, is, is the same, it doesn't change. So how much is the charge? We have to uh, uh, calculate it. Uh, Q uh, equals Q, where Q, let me write it here for you, Q equals C V, okay? Or C air initially multiplied by V. C air, it was 2 times 10 to the minus uh, 9 multiplied by V, which is 12 uh, volts, and I'll end up with 24 times 10 to the minus 9 column. So this is the, this is the charge. So now I, I am ready to calculate how much is the energy uh, stored. So U will be Q square divided by 2C, and Q is 24 times 10 to the minus 9, all squared divided by 2, and C is 7, 10 to the minus, 10 to the minus 9. As a result, I can uh, uh, get that uh, the potential energy is 4.1 times 10 to the minus uh, 8, 8 joules. Okay, so this is the answer of our, our problem. Let us uh, uh, assume that the battery was not removed. If the battery was not removed. I am done with this problem. Huh? I, I, I want to make sure that you are following. I am done with this problem, but let us modify it a little bit. If, if the battery uh, was not removed, was not removed. So it is kept there. So this implies that V is constant. V, which is the potential across our capacitor, is constant in that case. And V will be uh, changing. Okay? How much is the energy stored in that case? So U equals one half C V squared. Okay? And C is the new capacitance, which is uh, C equals kappa. C air, and we uh, have known that this is equal to 7, 10 to the minus 9 farad, okay? And V is fixed, which is uh, 12 volts. So this V is just a 12 volts. So U in this case, U in this case will be 1 half multiplied by 7, 10 to the minus 9 multiplied by 12 squared. And the potential energy stored in the capacitor in this case will be 5.04 times 10 to the minus 7, 7 joule. Okay, so this is a different version of uh, the same question. Just to enrich your uh, knowledge about uh, this subject of the energy stored in the capacitor. Thank you. This is the third example about energy stored in a capacitor. A charged isolated capacitor like this, isolated, meaning that it is not connected to uh, any other uh, device. It stores an energy of amount U. So it has uh, a stored energy amount U, and we know that U equals one half C, which is the capacitance of the capacitor, multiplied by V zero squared. So it was at a potential difference uh, V zero uh, when carrying a charge Q zero. After uh, that it is connected in parallel to an identical uncharged capacitor, okay? So this capacitor was uncharged uh, and is connected in parallel with the first capacitor, okay? So this charge Q0 will be distributed and uh, finally 
uh, the first capacitor will carry Q1, and the second capacitor will carry Q2. And from conservation of charges, we know that Q1 plus Q2 should be equal to Q0, which was the initial uh, charge there, because the charge is uh, conserved, as you know. Okay? We would like to know, after the combination, find the total energy stored in the two capacitors, in the equivalent capacitance of these capacitors, uh, how much is the energy, energy stored. Okay, so we know initially uh, U was one half C V zero square. Okay, now uh, after parallel uh, connection of these two equivalent capacitors, we know that V1 should be equal to V2. Okay, V1 should be equal to uh, V2. But what is V1? V1 is nothing but Q1 over C1, which is C. This is equal to Q2 over C2, which is also, which is also C. They are equivalent uh, capacitors. Okay, so from here we will get that Q1 equals Q2. Because they are equivalent capacitors, Q1 equals Q2. Okay, at the same time we know that Q1 plus Q2 equals uh, Q0. So if we write here that replace Q2 with Q1, so Q1 plus Q1 equals Q0. As a result, we can write that Q1 equals Q0 over 2. Also, Q2 will be Q0 over, over 2. Okay? So, the initial charge, Q0, will be distributed a half on the first capacitor and another half on the other, on the other capacitor. Okay? Now, we want to know how much is the total uh, energy stored in this combination. So we can write it uh, very simply. U1, how much is the energy stored in this capacitor, plus how much charge is there uh, stored in the second capacitor. So U1 can be written as uh, uh, 1 half or Q1 squared divided by uh, 2C. Okay, but Q1 is nothing but Q0 over 2. So this will be Q0 squared over 2 squared, which is 1 quarter, divided by uh, 2C. Okay? And this can be written as 1 over 4 Q0 squared, Q0 squared over 2C. But what is this? This is 1 fourth uh, the initial energy. Okay, so this is 1 over 4 U, because this also can be written as uh, Q0 squared divided by 2, 2C. Same, uh, same formula, okay? Similarly, we can write U2 equals Q2 squared over 2C, also we'll have 1 over 4 Q0 squared over 2C, which is 1 fourth of the initial energy, okay? So U final, which is U of the combination, this will be U1 plus U2, which is one quarter plus one quarter. This will give us one half, one half U. The, it is half the initial, the initial energy. It has reduced. Why is it reduced? Because there is some work done by the electric field to charge the other capacitor. So it will lose some of its energy uh, because it will move uh, the charges and that work will be deducted from the initial, uh, the initial stored energy. Let us try to solve this problem with another method. Okay? We can solve it in another method. Another way or another method to solve this problem and answer uh, the question. We can find what is C equivalent final. C equivalent, finally, is uh, these are connected in parallel, okay? And parallel connection of capacitors, this will be C1 plus C2. But C1 and C2 are equivalent, so this is 2C, okay? And uh, uh, V equivalent is how much? would like to know how much is this V equivalent, okay? We have seen that the charges Q1 and Q2 are, uh, are the same, and they are half 
the initial initial uh, charge. Okay, so V final, let us say V1 equals uh, uh, Q1 over uh, C. Okay, but what is Q1? It is just Q0 over 2 divided by divided by C. Okay, so this is half Q0 over over C, which is what? What is Q0 over C? Q0 over C will give me V0. So this is half V0. So the potential across the first capacitor is half the original uh, V0. Okay, similarly, we can write that V2, they are connected in parallel, also will be half V, half V0. So now we can calculate what is U of the combination of the combination, we can write it as one half uh, C equivalent multiplied by V uh, equivalent, which is the same as V, V2, V equivalent uh, squared, okay? So this will be one half multiplied by C equivalent, which is two C, multiplied by V equivalent, which is one half V zero all squared, okay? So we'll end up with the following. This will be, uh, here we'll have one quarter, so I write the one quarter here, multiplied by uh, one half, okay, multiplied by uh, 2C, okay, multiplied by uh, V0 squared, okay, so this will cancel with that, and we are left with the following, it is 1 over 4 C V zero square, okay? One over four C V zero square. But I can uh, rewrite this as one half multiplied by one half C V zero squared. No problem because one quarter is one half multiplied by one half. But what is one half C V zero square? One half C V zero square is the initial U. So this is half U, half U. So we got the same answer using two different approaches. This is one approach and this is another, another uh, approach. I hope that you uh, uh, digest this uh, concept and by doing more and more problems you will get it and find it easy inshallah. Thank you.